Hello and welcome. A new case in regression. And this time, now we are starting some small problems which can also be asked as MCQs. And the case is for a sample of 28 observations, BXY equals to minus 1.5 and SY square upon SX square equals to 0.25. That means the ratio of variance of y to the variance of x is 0.25 or say 1 by 4. Find out the coefficient of correlation and vyx. And the summary is n equals to 28, bxy equals to minus 1.5 and the ratio of variances of y to variance of y to variance of x is 0.25 or 1 by 4. Now, Actually, there is no role of n in this case. Yes, bxy is one point, rather minus 1.5. Now, two information are actually usable. bxy and sy square upon sx square. What is the relationship between sy square and sx square? See, what is the formula of bx or bxy by definition the formula of bxy is coefficient of correlation rho into sx upon sy so no direct role of variance is there in the formula and number two ratio of sx to sy is the part of formula of bxy so we need the value of this one then only we can have the coefficient of correlation now first of all sy square upon sx square equals to 1 by 4 or 0.25 therefore sy upon sx will be under root 1 by 4 therefore sy upon sx will be 1 by 2 and therefore sx upon sy is 2 2 by 1 is 2 now we can use this relationship to substitute in this formula bxy equals to coefficient of correlation into sx upon sy that means minus 1.5 equals to coefficient of correlation into 2 Yes, so now this is simple case of changing the subject minus 1.5 divided by 2 will be the coefficient of correlation. So the coefficient of correlation is minus 0.75 or minus 3 by 4. Okay. So we have now coefficient of correlation. Now BYX equals to coefficient of correlation into sy upon sx we have the value of sy upon sx minus 0.75 into 1 by 2 therefore byx is minus 0.375 or say it is 3 by 8 negative So in this way, two small things are to be considered. First, there is no role of n in entire solution. And number two, square root of this gives us sy upon sx, that is part of formula of byx. And its reciprocal or inverse gives us sx upon sy, on the basis of which we can find the coefficient of correlation through the formula of byxy. That's it. Thank you very much.